Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 18 of Get Real with Rajiv. So today we have Pawan who's behind the camera, who's going to be the voice of your questions. So Pawan, shoot the first question. The first question is from Dinesh Kar on Facebook. As a startup, what should we focus on first? Building a sales team to get more projects or developing an operations team, team to handle the projects we get? Well, Dinesh, uh, that's like a chicken and egg situation. Which one came first? So what you need to understand is as a startup, you definitely have to go out there and prove to yourself that what you're offering works. So you have to sell and you have to prove to yourself that what you're offering works for the customer as well which means you have to have an operations team or a delivery mechanism to deliver value to your customer so Dinesh there's no real one solution for this because it's really dependent on the type of industry you are in and the type of products and services you're offering but I would recommend that initially focus on creating a proof of concept of sales for yourself and a proof of concept of value delivery for the customer and then start scaling up your sales team, get more business and simultaneously develop the operations team. But if in your industry, operations delivery requires core capability, some kind of a high-end delivery capability, then I would say that you have to kind of balance operations first so that you have that internal capacity to add value to customers and then focus on sales. So Dinesh, there's very little information I have on this question about your industry and your segment for me to be able to give you a precise solution. But I would say as a startup, you've got to prove both value and saleability to yourself. So both run hand in hand, my friend. So Pawan, what's the second question? The second question is from Junaid on YouTube. He asks, hiring a marketing employee can be highly risky for a company. What if he joins a competitor and takes the existing customers with him? What should we do in such a situation? All right, Junaid, the reason I'm laughing is because you have the fear that most self-employed entrepreneurs have. Most self-employed entrepreneurs are insecure about hiring because their biggest fear is what if people learn and leave? Well, let me diffuse that fear for you by letting you know this. People will leave. Nowadays, marriages don't last. Leave alone team members lasting. Nowadays, children don't live with their parents. Leave alone team members living with you forever. So Junaid, the mindset you're operating from is a very, very risky mindset because based on this mindset, you will always have marketing and sales completely dependent on you. And if it's going to be only dependent on you, you will never ever build a scalable business. I need you to understand this, Junaid. It's okay for people to leave. There is nothing called bonded labor where people have to join you and work with you for the rest of your life. If you have that kind of a mindset, mindset my friend that's a pretty primitive mindset so please grow beyond that and understand and accept that people have their own aspirations people have their own dreams and desires which means they will not last with one organization forever that era is gone that used to happen in my grandfather's era where he would join a factory and work uh, over there till the till the last day of working of his life so I want you to understand this Junaid the world has evolved Today people will leave and the difference between small organizations and large organizations is this my friend. Large organizations have more people leaving than small organizations even higher. So don't stay small, just accept this reality that yes, people do move forward in their careers. Your job is to hire, develop, delegate, get maximum value from people, add maximum value to your team members so that they don't leave knowing that they will still leave someday. The moment you have accepted that as an entrepreneur, you don't slip into hiring coma. I see a lot of entrepreneurs because one person left, joined a competitor or started their own business, the entrepreneur goes into hiring coma and make a decision saying, I will never trust people. In all honesty, that's just juvenile, that's childish. So grow beyond that. Please understand that the, the, the game of business is about building something scalable and profitable and in the journey, people will come and go. If you accept that as a reality, you will hire effortlessly and you won't be heartbroken the day people leave. Of course, your job is to create a work environment where people don't feel like leaving. That's your responsibility, my friend. So I hope that helped. So, Pawan, let's look at the third question. The third question is from Pawan Sabria on YouTube. He asks, you say only entrepreneurs can create wealth. Does that mean that people who are in full-time jobs can never create wealth? What's your take on that? Well, Pawan, thank you for that question. Let me tell you this. Um, I say that business is a vehicle for wealth creation, job is a vehicle for income generation. Now does that mean that people in a job cannot create wealth? Well yes they can by the way they manage the money that they make. 
So the question you really need to answer for yourself is how much, how much out of your salary are you saving and investing in other instruments like stock, real estate, mutual funds and all of the other things. Because money or wealth creation is not a function of how much money you make. It's about how you spend or invest the money that you make. So can people in a job create wealth? Yes, provided they have the right financial discipline. Having said that, what you need to understand is that the scalability of income in a job is restricted. It's very organic, it's very step by step. Whereas in business, the scaling up of your income is a lot more easier because you can play the multiplier effect by scaling your business. So you really need to understand the paradigm. I have nothing against jobs. In fact, I'm probably one of those few people who on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn comes out and says that job is not a rat race. People in jobs deserve their due and entrepreneurship should not be treated like this fashion show. So I love people in jobs. I always say it's a game of clarity. If you want to create consistent income, Income, then be in a job if you want to explore wealth creation in a fast-track manner then focus on a business that's the distinction I draw out between the two my friend but thank you so much for asking that question so I could clarify it for everybody Pawan what's the fourth question the fourth question is from Partha on YouTube he asks being in a hotel management profession I am required to move out of, my, uh, out of my home and work in other cities to grow in my profession but I also like living with my family. It's frustrating to make up my mind. What do you suggest I do? Well Partha, I am going to say something you may not like but I think I, you need to hear it. Frustration and confusion is a cowardly way of not making a decision. Let me repeat that. Frustration and confusion is a cowardly way of not making a decision. Most people behave frustrated or confused because they are refraining from making a decision. Now, is making decisions easy? No, it's not. But the decisions are simple. You either quit your hotel management uh, career or you choose to stay with your family. You need to make that decision, my friend. So you need to ask yourself, what are your options? What does your heart desire more? And follow your heart. Sometimes what tends to happen is when people are doing what they don't want to do, that's when they get frustrated. So the real question you need to answer, my friend, is what is it that you really want to do? If you want to stay with your family, then explore career options that allow you to do that. And if you want to pursue hotel management, then accept that it will require you to stay away from your family. There is no decision making that I can do for you, but I can only help you to understand that you staying confused is your way of playing small, your way of not being courageous and your way of being a coward because you don't want to make that decision. You want me to give you the answer so that tomorrow you can blame me. I'm not going to give you that luxury, my friend. I want you to take responsibility for your life, make that decision for yourself and make that decision work for yourself. That's how you live life, my friend. So thank you so much for asking that question, Partha, because that one is a common pattern for quite a few people. Many people behave to be confused and frustrated the reality is they're just running away from making that choice. So make that choice, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this one. So with that, we come to the end of four questions of Get Real with Rajiv, episode number 18. We've come through this journey of 18 episodes now. I would love to hear from each and every one of you. What has been your biggest takeaway through the series of Get Real with Rajiv? So invest some time, put your comments below and tell us what have you loved about this entire series so that we know how we can shape it as we move forward. This is Rajiv Taleja signing off. But before I sign off, Pawan reminds me I need to select a winner for this week. So Pawan, indicate for me according to you who's the winner. Okay, I somehow tend to disagree with Pawan all the time. Uh, so for me, the winner of this week is question number two, which was around the the situation of uh, hiring a marketing employee. Hiring a marketing employee. I believe most entrepreneurs are stuck in making those hiring decisions out of that fear of what if the person learns and leaves and joins the competitor or becomes competition. So I love that question. So the winner for this week is Junaid. Junaid, Junaid, you win a copy of my book Lead or Bleed. So my team will reach out to you. Make sure you read the book, enjoy the read and let us know what you think about it. With that, this is Rajiv Dalreja signing off from episode number 18 of Get Real with Rajiv.